When the news broke, tens of thousands of Sudanese were already on the streets of the capital Khartoum, dancing and chanting Anne's Bashir slogans. The curtains of a 30 year rule had fallen. The message they used to remove him as a president, I don't support it. They should have given him time to sort out problems that are pertaining in his country. According to Charles Romushana, a regional political analyst, Bashir's downfall is highly connected to a deliberate plan by Western powers to deal with Muslim fundamentalists. The problem of Sudan, the problem of Egypt, and the problem of Libya are linked because they all relate to the security of Israel. So to understand the problem of Sudan, therefore, one needs to understand the so-called war, America's war, on Islamic fundamentalism. Omushana argues that America's Central Intelligence Agency sponsored some of the African leaders to carry out this job, including Uganda. To destroy the Islamic fundamentalism. Right. Seven and Garang favored the capture of the entire Sudan under Garang, under the SPRA. However, the then president of Libya, Colonel Muammar Gaddafi, objected the proposal. Gaddafi could not accept handing over the Sudan to a Christian, and more so a black Christian, because Gaddafi's view was that Sudan had to remain one, an Arab state, and two, an Islamic state. He argues that in order to further weaken the Islamic states in Africa, Bashir was forced to surrender South Sudan, and this in a way contributed to his downfall. <laughs> Egypt and Algeria are some of the countries where long-standing leaders were forced out of office through public protests. In order to mitigate the Libyan crisis, Egypt, Algeria and now Sudan have seen the military taking over the state. So you actually have not had an overthrow of the government, you know, because it's still the same government. This is the Minister of Defense in Arab Bashir. But it's a maneuver to save the state from a larger threat, which is exterior. The, the, the state, uh, the CIA and uh, other, the, the Mossad and other operators, by deposing leaders so as to save their states. But could Bashir's hoster be a fundamental change for Sudan or just a mere change of guards? Arua Municipality MP Kassiano Wadri weighs in. Bashir should have been replaced by a civilian. But now that he has been replaced by his own henchman, a soldier, and who was also his minister, I think that is the reason why I say it is just a mere change of guards. Oh, how are you? How are you? Romshana believes the military in Sudan was aware of the hidden agenda of the Western powers to intervene if Bashir insisted on crushing the protesters. So if you have got 100,000 people on the streets and you kill a sizable number, the other guys would intervene under the doctrine of the need to protect. You know, they now have that. They can intervene under that. Either humanitarian crisis, humanitarian intervention, or they need to protect. So you have the military act to, to, as a maneuver to salvage themselves and then later on destroy these civilians. And, and I, I see any time they will be destroying these civilians who are engaged in that unconscious surprising. But can the Sudanese uprising happen in Uganda? It could easily happen. Because where you, where, where you claim to have got more than 50% of the votes, if the one who got more than 94 vo votes went yesterday, how about you? Uh, we, we've been there. Our, our country has gone to the gutters before. Because in any case, we have nothing to fear. We are the ruling party and we are here to stay and we will provide leadership. The challenges I see is that first of all we do not have a unifying factor. The Sudanese all talk Arabic and the language one is a unifying factor. Number two, we have a number of corrupt officials who have surrounded the present regime in Uganda. And therefore it is a mistake for someone to think that you are only targeting His Excellency President Museveni. No. The, the Uganda case, Museveni is fused with the state. So the population to throw out Museveni, the energy must be sufficient to throw out Museveni and throw out the entire state. And, and that happened during Amin's time. The entire state was overthrown. It also happened with Obote. The entire UNRA state was, was overthrown. Jingo Francis, NTV.